welcome back to my channel. I'm Danny, your friendly neighborhood DIYer, and this week we are completely off the grid. We are in the middle of nowhere. I am on a little vacay, a creative vacay. I just needed to get off the grid. I wanted to turn off technology and just be present and do art in the best way. And I wanted to take you guys along for this ride because I know it's gonna be therapeutic for me, but I also think it might be therapeutic for you. So buckle up friends, because we are in for one creative week. Are you ready? Editor, roll the tape. Welcome to Birchview Tiny Cabin. <laughs> I just arrived and I'm gonna take you for a little tour of the space and uh, it's so cute guys, I can't wait to show you. Over here I have a little space to have a bonfire. Everything is solar powered here so it's very off the grid. It also has an outdoor shower. There's also a little back door, you know, in case I'm in the middle of nowhere and I need to run for it. I'm just kidding, I probably won't need to do that. All right, let's go into the cabin. I have a beautiful little table here with two seats. We got a little seat, a little lounge. We have a live edge shelf here. I love that. Nice detail with some books, a little fireplace. There's a kettle here with a stove top. And then we have this guy, which goes upstairs. And then when we go up, I have this little canopy here. Ugh, like look how pretty it is. Ugh, I'm just obsessed. Actually, one thing I love the most about this space is that it genuinely smells like, like fresh pine. And uh, I just feel like I'm living my best life right now. So yeah, I'm excited for this. I actually got the idea for this video uh, from NerdForge, Martina and Hansi. And uh, last year, Martina went on like a seven day excursion in the forest um, and painted every day. I think my goal is more just to reconnect myself with creativity and, uh, and recharge. Um, I love painting. I love painting so much. It's like my my happy place. So I'm excited and I asked Jess to help me write some painting prompts at each day. So um, I'm just really big props to Martina and Hansi for giving me this idea and for inspiring this whole video. I brought Winston along with me. He is sitting out on the front there happily. <laughs> <laughs> He's my Wilson to the castaway, you know? So I figured what we could do is go for a little walk. Let's go look what's around the property and then we'll come back and we'll just do like a little mini painting and then we'll do some bigger ones tomorrow. So let's go for a walk. Okay, so I'm all set up. I got my little mini easel thing going and uh, I'm ready to go. So day one, I have a little envelope here. So today's inspiration says, what does love mean to you? That's tough. I mean, it's not tough. I mean, I definitely know what love means to me, but what to pick to paint is the hard part. You know, it's funny, the first thing that popped into my head when I read that was my grandparents for some reason. My grandpa and grandma, like they're like two people that are the most in love with each other. They have been together their entire lives um, and looking at them, like that is love. Last time I visited my grandfather, I took a picture of the two of them with the hope that I would one day wanna paint this. So actually this is perfect. So I'm gonna see if I can sketch this up onto my canvas and uh, then we'll get painting. There's currently a bird in my cabin and I can't get him down. <laughs> As it stands right now, it's currently in my bedroom. I couldn't grab my camera in time, but I just want you to know, Birdie is safe. I got him. He's just chilling. I shall call you Delilah. You gonna go Delilah? Who's that? Oh, there you go. 
You're beautiful. Hi there, sweetheart. Okay, bye. Okay, well, um, I'm gonna leave Delilah where she is and I'm gonna keep doing this sketch. I guess she's just gonna hang out and then we'll see where we go from here. <laughs> strange sounds here. I can hear rustling around me. I can hear birds singing. I can hear kind of like distant traffic, but not really. I can hear booming, like thunder coming in. It's great. It's funny, the act of slowing down is something that's very challenging for me. Like even since I got here, I'm like, okay, let's go for a walk. Let's do this. Let's, let's paint and get all this done. And like, Sometimes you just need to stop and just slow down. Feels really good. first dinner in the cabin. I decided to go breakfast for dinner because it's my favorite meal. And I made a pepper ring with an egg on the inside, asparagus and toast, a little hot sauce because your girl can't go anywhere without hot sauce. It is pouring rain out right now. It's funny, it's like, it's a really interesting thing spending time alone. I'm very comfortable with being alone and like being with myself, being with my thoughts, but I feel like it's a really important thing for people to do. Because I just feel like if you can't spend time with yourself, how on earth are you ever gonna figure out who you are as a person, you know? I mean, even that just speaking creatively, like I find being alone and then doing creative things by myself, being in my head, it really helps me navigate how my creativity works and without being like tainted by other people's suggestions and whatnot. So I always find it's a really good exercise to just kind of like be alone and then do a lot of creative things by yourself because you start to kind of figure out what you like, what you don't like, what colors you're drawn to either or, or just, you know, as a general thing for people, just be alone and see what happens, you know? I don't know. I don't mind the silence. I find it kind of therapeutic, to be honest. It's bedtime! It's like a little fort up here. <laughs> Good night, Winston! Good night, YouTube. See you in the morning. Well, good morning. <laughs> got my coffee now I'm very happy it was such a great night it was storming so hard but I think like the the sound against the tin roof was really a really like nice calming thing for me to fall asleep because if it wasn't there I think it would just be dreadfully quiet that I wouldn't have been able to fall asleep it is another rainy day it's supposed to rain this morning and then uh, kind of clear out this afternoon so I think I'm just gonna try to get some painting done this morning see how far I can get on my little mini painting I'm a little behind but I'm not really putting any pressure on my week at all because that's not the point of the week the point is just to be calm and be in nature and and be creative so yeah I'm excited screwed up on the 
face of my grandfather. So I just painted over it and I decided to walk away from it. It's uh, really started with the doozy of a painting to begin with. I should have just done something like I don't know, like a landscape. Anyways, um, I decided I was gonna go walk around and see if I can pick up some flowers to put, uh, to press into my book. And uh, yeah, so let's go pick some flowers. my painting and uh, I really don't like it I like I struggled to draw my grandfather's face so hard there wasn't enough detail in the photo that I could like grab things from and I don't know I just like I don't draw men's faces so it's hard for me but there it is um, it's like not great and I need to like practice face is so wonky like the perspective is all off and I wish in my mind I wish that I didn't have to show this but for the sake of this video and for the sake of you know trying to be relatable um, to growth I mean I'm just trying to grow and grow my painting skills grow my creativity so it all starts here with this awful little painting I think it would actually be kind of fun to like add some kind of orb around his head and like all of a sudden make it like superheroes in real life situations. You know what I mean? And maybe I can just like hide his face and then make it kind of like a cool, funny portrait. Maybe I'll do that. Sometimes sharing your creativity is, is challenging because it's like I don't want to show it to you guys, but I do, you know? So we have our kind of Mysterio type man. We have our Wonder Woman-esque sidekick. There's a mushroom cloud on the back because an explosion just went off. There's a guy in a, uh, a little parachute that's coming down. I definitely like this better than the one before. I will say that, um, but you know, it's funny. It's kind of like a thing you put on your wall and you're like, haha, remember that time I did a terrible painting and so I had to just make it into a superhero at the end of the world and they still love each other kind of thing. Yep. All right, Winston, cheers. It's supposed to rain all day today. I always pick the right weeks to come, you know? <laughs> Actually, to be honest, I, I love this weather. I, I find it in a weird way, creatively energizing. I'm excited to paint something different. Um, I'm gonna go, let's figure out what I'm painting today. Hold on. Okay, 
So I'm obviously behind. This is day two and we're on day three, but whatever. Um, so today's inspiration, <laughs> nightmares. Oh, so many nightmares here. I was thinking about it like being out in the middle of nowhere by yourself, like that in itself is kind of a nightmare. Um, but maybe I'll paint the cabin, like Lord, the place I'm staying in and around that there'll be like maybe like an apocalyptic thing. Okay, so I've been thinking about Nightmare and I was thinking about the walk that I had been on when I first got here and there was like that long kind of passageway with the opening at the end that I thought like kind of looked Lord of the Rings-esque. So I think I kind of want to paint something like that, like this like long kind of open pathway with this like opening at the end of it and then there's like somebody standing there at the end of that opening and it's like very ominous. Something about that just seems really nightmarish to me at least. It's like my biggest fear, the unknown and like <laughs> this like person being out here lurking in the shadows. Because it is raining out, I can't paint outside so I'm gonna go and take a picture of it and then I can kind of use that as my reference. Oh, I love opening new canvases. It's like Christmas morning. I can smell the potential. <laughs> I think overall it does what I set out to do. It was a creepy forest and <laughs> I ended up changing my little nightmare guy at the end of the tunnel to have legs and I gave him a top hat because I just felt like I had to add some humor to this because I was genuinely like, okay, that's maybe a little too real, but I'm ready to do another painting tomorrow. So I think tonight I am going to just listen to an audiobook. I have a really good Star Wars audiobook going right now that I was painting to, and I think I might just listen to that and just chill. morning friends uh it is a very chilly day today it's like 13 degrees here i wanted to open my day three uh painting prompt it's technically day four but you know what i mean today's inspiration where do you go to escape oh well that's easy this cabin actually i've been thinking about it i was hoping that something would come up that would inspire me to paint this cabin and literally that's like to a T. But I'm gonna finish this breakfast and then I actually just want to do um, one journal page. It's like a memory book. I've done it my whole life since I was 13. Um, different places I go, I keep, you know, travel ticket stubs, I keep photos, I keep letters, um, I keep anything that means something to me. I get to start a new book today, which is really exciting. It's the same book that I was uh, pressing those flowers into, that leather book. Um, that's going to be my new memory book, so I'm gonna be starting on the first page, which I'm excited to start a new book. I always get excited to start a new book.
So I went out quickly and took a picture. I took a different, a couple different pictures, but it's like a landscape so you can see the the two little fences here and then you have a little cabin and then some forest area there so i think i'm going to go with this photo as my guide and i'll turn my canvas sideways For anyone who struggles with perspective um, and trying to get it, so what I ended up doing is I drew a grid on my on my canvas, and I actually took a picture of that grid, and then put I used an app to overlay the the drawing with the canvas, and then I was able to kind of sketch out the the area and the cabin based on my grid lines. This is the sketch now, so we're good. I can officially start painting but I did just want to talk about that because I thought it was kind of important for anyone who might struggle with that. Okay so <laughs> it's seven o'clock at night. <laughs> I don't know what happened to me today. Uh, this is as far as I got. Like I got all the detail on the uh, fence line there. Um, I'm gonna try and see if I can get the grass done tonight um, and get the detail in on that because that's gonna take the most time and then tomorrow morning I can get up and do the cabin. Like just put all my effort and fresh energy into the cabin, which obviously is kind of the most important part, which is kind of why I've been leaving it to the end. Hopefully by tomorrow morning, I can update you guys, show you where it's at, and then we'll start the cabin. I'm gonna go and make some food, and then I'm gonna finish this, and then I'm gonna go to bed, and then I'm gonna report back to you guys in the morning. Guys, do you think I need a shower? <laughs> My hair is too much. I mean, like, talk about volume. I do need to shower today. Today's the day. We're gonna go right there. <laughs> it's gonna be so cold. Oh my gosh. Wish me luck. Going in. Okay, I feel so much better now that I've showered. Like, that's all your girl needed. <laughs> As I promised yesterday, I got everything done that I wanted to. I was up till like 10 o'clock at night, but I finished it all, got the ground done, got the flowers done, and today I'm going to do the cabin, and then, um, and then we're done the painting, so that's exciting. I will say this, after last night I was thinking to myself, I can definitely feel myself getting better after every painting, um, just techniques and what different brushes can do for me. So that feels really good. Sometimes it just kind of like, it takes you a while to get back on the bike. With that said, uh, let's get this cabin painted so we can move on and uh, see you finish painting. Okay. <laughs> I feel like it took me a really long time to finish this piece. I don't know what it is. I keep picking all these like motifs that are like highly detailed and different like shading and stuff. But my only task this week is just to paint. And I did that. And I think, you know, three cool pieces came out of it. I definitely want to fix the first piece when I get home. But for now, I think it's kind of funny um, to turn a failed piece into something a little bit more comedic. I think doing things like this, which is just giving yourself the time to paint is very important. And um, I'm happy with what, I, what came out of it. Um, I'm proud of them. And yeah, I can, definitely, I can definitely see my growth in these paintings, which is what matters the most. Oh, hold on. I just had the worst bug bite and I gotta scratch it. Yeah, definitely am leaving with a lot of bug bites. 
a lot of creative rejuvenation and uh, a lot of clarity, I guess. I've had a lot of time by myself to really think about what kind of creative projects I wanna do moving forward. So I'm really excited about that. And of course, if you aren't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we got a lot of fun DIY projects coming this summer. Join the Creative Beast family. Um, there's gonna be some big fun announcements coming up so you don't wanna miss out. I hope you guys enjoyed this creative journey with me. I had a lot of fun and uh, with that said, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Stay positive, stay creative, and keep on DIYing. Bye-bye.